Emotionally, this is a, a tough case. It's a deadly hit and run, run and a young woman's life taken away. Today, the man police say is responsible took a plea deal hoping for a reduced penalty. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Mandy Knoll. Brittany Spedko was just 27 years old and she was training for a half marathon when police say Russell Lauer hit her along a road in Cortland and took off. Today, her family heard the word they've been waiting to hear, guilty. First News reporter Nadine Grimley was inside court for today's hearing. She has tonight's top story at 6. A year and four months after a crash that took 27-year-old Brittany Swedgo's life. To this event, have you pleaded? Guilty. Russell Lauer III, the man who police say was extremely impaired behind the wheel, finally admitting to what he's done, pleading guilty to several charges, including aggravated vehicular homicide, leaving the scene of an accident in OVI. It was a very emotional day for Brittany's mother, Mary Kay, who was in court this morning. She didn't want to go on camera, but she says she's happy to finally hear Lauer say that he was guilty. Emotionally, this is a, a tough case. I know that uh, Brittany's mother has struggled with this case, and it's understandable. It was February 27th of 2016 that Swedco was hit by Lauer while she was running along Ridge Road in Fowler. She was training for a half marathon at the time and later passed away from her injuries. Lauer left the scene, but a witness followed him, eventually getting him to stop and holding him there until police arrived. We are thankful to that gentleman who doesn't really want his name mentioned, but we, we are thankful to him for, for doing the right thing and stopping Mr. Lauer. Prosecutors are asking that Lauer serve eight years at sentencing, a hearing that will be scheduled at a later date. This, as Swedco's family continues planning for her second Memorial 5K set for this September. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.